Hey, how are you today? Hey, I'm good. Good. We're just here to pick up the Christmas tree. Okay. And we just wanted to thank you guys so much for donating it to us for our toy drive. We are so excited. Sure. No problem. Awesome. Anytime. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We get to pick out our Christmas tree. I'm so excited. The smell test is important. Very, very, <laughs> very important. This one's cute. It's kind of cooler. Christmas tree is going in. It's tiny but cute. Where did it go? Oh no. Somebody um, gave us these ornaments as a little gift. Look how cute they are. There's little Benjamin, Tawny, and then there's Puss. So we're gonna put them on the tree. Bows on you and Christmas wrap you and you know yeah grow this fur you need it for Cole is on his way to Colorado hey pretty girl hey settled in really nicely good took her a little bit but And that is her microchip, um, the reason why we microchip her and what you need to do with it. Okay. And then these are her Coggins here. Okay. And then this is when she had her vaccines and everything on that date. And then the last time she was wormed. Okay. It's right cool. there. Cassie just got picked up and she's on her way to her new adventure. Today we're getting a new hay feeder. Uh, we have a lot of rain here and um, it's hard to keep the hay dry sometimes. So this uh, feeder is going to go into our quarantine facility. So when we were unloading the uh, the hay feeder, I was talking to him and he has a really good story about a horse. So uh, take it away. Uh, my name is Thomas. I've always been an advocate for the protection of animals. I've lived on the Mississippi Gulf Coast for 15 years. I worked for turtle relief, saving porpoise, uh, doing conservation. And when uh, Hurricane Katrina took everything I had and then the BP oil spill hit, I had to move back to the horse farm. And since then I've rescued four horses. One horse, um, I went to a trainer, he had lag bolts run up into his feet. And I ended up spending 30 days in jail over that horse, but I took the horse. Now that's my horse. Ain't he something is his name, and it's the best trail horse I've ever had. It's, I work with Leaf Kitchens. It's all about saving humanity. It's all about helping the world, staying positive, and not putting up with abuse for animals. It's all about being, it's all about being human. So how did those leg bolts go out? I mean, was it just right into the hoof? How did that work? There were two lag bolts running each of his front hooves. Like into his hoof? Yeah, just run up into the hooves and they were sticking down further than the hoof to make the horse step higher. Just to get a, a fancy look, a fancy gait. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing for that poor horse. I train trail horses. I don't do show horses. Yeah. Yeah, wow. And that was, were they training him to do the big lick or another type of gait or? I'm not really yeah, sure. Just not sure. Just they, so they sent him through the top, the top of his hook? No, through the bottom. Through the bottom. That's unbelievable. But. But he learned his lesson. Huh. He left town. Wow. Because I told him if I ever saw him again, I'll put him back in the hospital. Wow. <laughs> well, horse animal abuse is something that just, Makes anyone's blood boil. Right. We 
we are moving the horses out of quarantine. We're gonna deworm them and weigh them, see how much weight they have gained and get them down to their new pastures. He has gained 50 pounds. You're 922 pounds, dude. There's blood in our eyes, so he's a little bit nervous. So I'm trying to get Keith over here. What'd you do? <laughs> uh, I slid down into the ditch. The tractor's stuck, so now <laughs> we're gonna have to get it out. So. Yeah. So, I think we can do it. I think so. Might get a little muddy though. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Hey, there, there we go. We go. Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, unstuck now. We are getting water and power ran over to the barns. Uh, we had a contractor lined up earlier because one of our generous donors watched one of our videos and said, Oh, you're doing this in the dark, I will donate for it. So we had it lined up, COVID just kept delaying things and now we are finally getting it done. Um, and now the tractor's unstuck, we actually can. So just digging a ditch from the office uh, and the well over to get power and water running and that will be awesome. Well, we are headed off to the auction. Jason's just backing up to the trailer right now. Um, so the 16 foot trailer is gonna be coming and we're taking the 24. Jason's done it a lot of times. That's what a pro does. Backs up right the first time. Done it a couple times. Yep. And we are just getting ready to pull out to go to the auction. We got a really big trailer hooked up and um, right in front of our office there. And we are going to be driving over uh, to more Eastern Tennessee, um, like Cookville and uh, rescuing some horses tonight. I just wanna thank each and every person for your support. Um, you know, every person doing what they can is what makes our whole rescue mission possible. Um, you know, driving in the winter isn't, isn't always fun, but the truck's got good tires, the trailer's got good tires, so everything should be good. Um, and rescue some horses tonight. You just never know when we're going to the auction um, what, what type of horses are gonna be there, I and mean, maybe it'll be another orphan little baby donkey, we have no idea. Um, and we got the vet scheduled to come out tomorrow, um, but I'm gonna have to go because Jason is waiting. It's COVID testing. Tawny and Shelby are busy working the computers, and we're gonna be going to the auction soon and just save as many horses as we can, and I can't wait. We're hoping to save at least 15 horses, but we never know until the night is over. How's it, how's it going on your end? It's going good. Shelby's working on the email that we're gonna be sending out as soon as we get pictures of the horses. I'm actually working on um, an awareness post about horses in the export pens leaving the United States. Um, so these are pictures of horses um, at the holding pens, these are um, livestock export facility, and these are all horses in these um, these export pens, and you can see auction tags um, on them. And so I'm going to be posting this to raise awareness because a lot of people think, oh, horse slaughter doesn't happen. If you follow our Facebook page, you know that we post the USDA export reports, and I'm just sharing these pictures to really bring home that these horses are going to slaughter. Well, every horse we save tonight will not end up there. So that's no. that's what drives us, that we're rescuing these horses literally from being shipped down to slaughter. Yeah. 
Friday, um, nearly 400 horses were exported from Texas into Mexico. And if we can save some of those horses tonight and keep them off of the USDA report from just being a, a number on that slaughter report um, and get them the opportunity and the chance they need to have a wonderful home, that's what it's all about. But we got to get busy and uh, go save those horses. Yes, we have remote start on our truck because it's cold out here and it's nice to have it warmed up a little bit before we head into the auction. So this is the last auction rescue before Christmas. Christmas is literally just a few days away. And sometimes, you know, Santa doesn't come in a sleigh with a bunch of reindeer. Sometimes he comes in a uh, pickup truck with a stock trailer and saves as many horses as he can. And we're going to be just giving that Christmas miracle to as many horses as we can tonight. Just got back in the truck after rescuing 29 horses. Oh, well, right now the, uh, I don't know if we can even see it out there. The uh, big slaughter trailer's leaving right now. You can uh, hear it going out. I don't know, maybe they didn't get any. It's hard to say whether they got any or not. I didn't watch them load, but the uh, big slaughter trailer's heading out right now. Yeah, it's 11.30 at night. Rescued one horse. Uh, somebody that's regular here, he's like, hey, I've got this horse at home. Really need your help. Can you buy it for 250 bucks? And I mean, the horse needs extensive veterinarian care, but he wasn't gonna give him it. He's like, most people just shoot the horse in the head. I don't really wanna do that. And so he went home and got the horse, brought it to us, and we're gonna get it patched up and it's gonna be seen as, at the vet as soon as possible. Basically, this horse probably fell out of a trailer while it was being towed down the road. Um, the guy that sold her to me said that he thought she had fallen through a trailer floor, but I think more likely she fell out of the back of a trailer. I've been communicating with our vet for the one that's really critical, and I'm just gonna give it its uh, medication to help it be more comfortable and check out its leg and wrap it if possible. A lot of pain just from the way it's standing. Um, it's really beat up. It's got multiple injuries. So I'm just gonna go in, put a halter on her and get her feeling more comfortable through the medication that our veterinarian has told us that he wants her to have tonight. Okay. Yeah, you hurt, you hurt so bad. There's just dried blood everywhere. Oh, she's a mess. So I'm gonna give her, um, Banamine. Our veterinarian has told me exactly how much to give her. That will help with the pain that she's she's enduring right now. It just kills me when I see a horse suffering this much. Hey baby, her poor eyes all swollen. She can see me with that guy. She's watching. I'm gonna help you, okay? will make her much more comfortable for the night and I'll see if I can I can wrap her leg I just don't know she's got so much swelling hopefully she's gonna be okay for a shot she's in so much pain some Sincho. I like to thank everyone that goes on our Amazon wish list and purchases this. It will just help her uh, stay more calm and relaxed through the night. She's been through a lot. There you go, baby. It's okay. You're going to be better, all right? There you go. Her injury is just so horrendous. There's no way we can show it on television, but we're going to uh, get it wrapped up and Hopefully the drugs can make her more comfortable. Hey baby, I'm just gonna touch your leg. Ugh, it's a terrible injury. I know, I know, I know it hurts. Is 
got so much blood all over her leg. Oh, you're not wrapping that tight, you're just protecting it. I'm protecting it. There's so much blood, I can, I can smell it on her. People say horses, you know, don't feel the same emotions as humans, and I'm sure they don't feel the same range of emotions, but this horse is crying from the pain. She literally has tears coming down her face from the pain. So we're driving back to the auction. There was just something really weird going on there tonight. And uh, one of the horses they didn't want us to have, um, whoever took the horse there, didn't want it on our website, didn't want it to be seen. Um, and we just don't feel comfortable having that horse at the auction overnight. So it's gonna go into the witness protection program until we can get it at our shelter. all about get the horse safely in our trailer now um, I don't know what's so special about that horse they didn't want it to come to us it's it's kind of skinny and the uh, only thing I can think of is it's possibly somebody famous or somebody hype and in some industry or something and they just don't want a skinny horse that they owned that information getting out I, I really don't know what that's all about they said they didn't want it going on our website right. well they were wondering if it was on our website yet or if they could buy it and we just don't tell people we rescue it's like no that's not how we do things and uh anyway it, they really wanted that horse back they literally basically said it didn't matter what it cost to get that horse back they wanted it back and it's in our trailer it's not in their trailer and that's the way it is when we rescue a horse we're committed to those horses Obviously, this horse is in really horrible condition, but why did they not? Yeah, it's a tattooed thoroughbred. Oh, okay. Can you read the number? He did the right call on, I mean, it looks like an old ancient horse, but it's not. I couldn't figure out why um, there was an issue with us getting this horse. It looks like just an old skinny horse in its 20s. When I lifted up the lip, it had a tattoo. That explains the story. Now I've just got to go research and find out who this horse is and why nobody wanted us to have it. You know, they're fine with anyone else at the auction getting it, but they didn't want us to have it. And that's because we're really good at telling these horses stories. Uh, so many horses end up in the slaughter pipeline and their stories are never told. And we try to intercept them and if we can find their stories, tell their stories, because it really raises awareness. This was a off-the-track thoroughbred. I mean, he is an off-the-track thoroughbred. He has a tattoo, and clearly he must have a story because they don't want us to know who he is. If this is him, we'll have to do some more research, but that horse won $43,000. The second, but Bow Bay Drive, gonna win it at four to five here. Bow Bay Drive geared down by five legs. Well, it's been a really long night. We were up way past midnight. Um, I got to sleep on hankies around two. And so we got a few hours of sleep. And now we've got to intake, how many horses, Shelby? 29. 29, she remembers from last night. <laughs> uh, 29 horses and get them back to our shelter. So it's gonna be a very long, exhausting day. It is raining today. down which doesn't surprise me he's used to being in a stall but poor guy so skinny well the weather says it's not gonna be raining when we get back to Holland Mall so hopefully it won't be 
Jason is getting all the numbers uh, off the receipts and Shelby and I are gonna check out and see if we can start tracking down where all our horses are because 29 horses is a lot of horses. Sadly, one of the horses was just so far gone, his soul just couldn't stay with us and we lost him. This is the pen that the uh, horse was in last night that the uh, people really, really wanted to buy back. and. We had taken it away last night, so it wasn't even here, and I wondered, are they going to come at like 2 in the morning, look for the horse, try to get the horse? We don't know whether they did or not, but when we got here, this pen was just left open, and it's possible that the horses had undone the uh, latch by themselves and gotten out, but it's more likely that the uh, people came look for it, couldn't find it because we took it away, and we're disgusted and just left the gate open out of spite. So this horse has got its leg stuck through the rail. Hold on, baby. I'm going to try to help you, okay? Come on. baby I'm so sorry you better now oh, you never know what you're gonna see at an auction very painful this horse is blind easy 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 baby easy. Easy, I'm right here. Ho, ho. So this horse is completely blind. Very, very scared right now. I talk a lot with blind horses because that's how they know where I'm at. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Good, baby. Good, baby. You're all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're okay. Okay, easy. I hate it when people take blind horses to auctions because they're so traumatized. Easy, I'm right here, I'm right here. Easy, easy, I'm right here, I'm right here. See, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, easy. Easy, baby, good, baby. Ho, ho, easy. It's okay, it's okay. Easy. Easy, baby. You're all right, I know. You're so scared. Easy. Easy. You're all right. You're all right. Ho. 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 You're okay. See? Come on, baby. I can show you where to go. I'll show you where to go. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared. It's all right now. 
Here we go. Good baby. Good baby. All right, there we go. Okay. This is gonna give you, make you feel better, keep you calmer. You're all right, good baby. You're okay. You're okay. There you go. There you go. This horse has a wrapped leg. Who knows what's under there? Carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, but don't let it make you older. They say, settle me down when I can't see. This horse, this uh, poor little foundered pony, to the auction last night by a family. Their kids had gotten a little bigger and they didn't want her anymore. They said that she could be ridden by anyone anywhere. She had been foundered for the last five years they owned her, but she did fine. Anybody could ride her. And it's just so sad because this horse is suffering just standing here. And you put weight on her back and she's going to be suffering even more. It's just sad that the family didn't know or even worse that they didn't care. But this is this is the reality of, of the lack of education. People, they just don't understand that when a horse is foundered, it's in pain. It's living in constant pain. I'm going to give her some buteless um, anti-pain medication right now. People bought this off of our Amazon wish list and we're so thankful because it can help little horses like this and big horses. They'll feel better for the trip back to the shelter where they'll be evaluated by a veterinarian. A good girl. Good girl. Horses kind of get put all over the place at auctions. And the, um, somebody just leaving with their horse. Uh, we have to walk around and find them. We have no idea where they get put. Um, let's see. Oh, I hear Jason said he found one. There we go. There's one of them. We found you! Hi, baby! Oh. If there's a love, there is a way To face unafraid Let me be made Fearless in I'm not scared of the dark no more I'm not running away like I did before I'll Nobody will know about it. And 
that's just not right. But it puts it on our shoulders to do the right thing. And, you know, we know it's the right thing. But there are people out there that, you know, are like, oh, horse plus euthanizes horses. Well, we're stepping in and being the responsible person because their owners walked away and totally turned their back on those horses in desperate need. It is starting to snow. trailer of three just arrived and we're gonna get these horses unloaded. Second trailer just arrived. We got two vets here right looking now, at looking at her, like seeing what's going on. About 20. 20? Yeah. Uh, she's got, looks like her right stifle is um, stuck out of place. Um, and she's so straight legged in both rear legs, I, probably from compensation and stuff. Um, she's just probably some pretty severe arthritis. Um, and uh, just not good, not good. Next up is the draft. Nope. Nope, man. Basic thing when you're working on feet is you find the black line and you trace it down. We thought that she was limping more on this and see where you, I can put my finger in there and she could hide it. Man, anyway, and that's not even nearly down to where the end of the abscess is, but uh, she's had an old abscess that's busted out. If you don't put something, they just keep jamming rocks and dirt up in there and keep it infected. It just doesn't get any better. Uh, Farrier, you can put a pad on her. Yeah. Clean it out, get a farrier, trim her up, and maybe put a pad on it. This is the third and final trailer. When it feels like you're walking back, when you're out of luck and off the path, broken and far from home, just remember that you're not alone. Try not to dig too deep, afraid of what you'll find. Give yourself the grace you show me all the time. Cause when you love yourself, you can give that love to someone else. Mornings come and seasons go and life can get so hard. It's easy to forget the things that make you who you are. I hope that when you look at you, you see yourself the way that I do. When it feels like you're walking back, when you're out of luck and off the path, broken and far from home, just remember. Hi babies, we're gonna get you off the trailer here in just a minute, okay? Hi, you guys are so sweet. I know, you guys are safe now. 
Shelby and Tony are getting these two babies. And their halter's on, and we're gonna lead them out. They're in pretty rough shape, both of them. Both of its front, look both at this, of its feet. This are horse like is um, missing. Is missing. Really beat up. It's it. That is a front. Well, I think you pictures. Yeah. yeah. We could maybe fix that, but her hoof, she's only got about three quarters of a hoof back there, and it's already grown down crooked. So I don't think there's any fixing that back one. She's over 25. So there's nothing we can do for her. She's in so much pain and considering her age and that um, this problem has been there for a long time. Um, but clearly she's been through a lot. Behavioral is not we've got big numbers in health. Look at her. <laughs> yeah, I mean she's going after Jason. Oh I can fix it for a minute. <laughs> not today, I don't have time. Okay, if you think you can fix it, I'll I'm just saying there's ones in pain. Yeah. Huh? There's ones in pain right now. Five fifty eight. So I was up here working on Work and tagging, getting all that done. Oh. Everybody's working hard. Get these horses comfortable. Okay. Favorite time of the day. Yeah, right? It's so cold. The glue is like frozen. It'll stay in her hair anyway. He's four years old. Yeah. I think that's sort of old. And trying to grow out. I think it's funny. That's his cute. hooves look like they're in rough shape, and then somebody put shoes on them. Like his back are kind of messed up. Like you see, left them on or just put them on? I think just put them on. They look pretty new on Yeah, I thought they were new yeah. too. He's four. What do you do? Claim him at an auction? I mean, claim him at a race? I don't know. But I have a bunch more pictures of him. I think that'll grow out. I think yeah. it'll take some good bear in mind. Walk him around. Let's see if he's, is he lame? He's ouchy on it. Well, well he's, he's so young, so, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Y'all vaccinate he's, him? We need to vet him? I think him. They're, they're doing it over there. Okay. So we purchased this horse through the auction. When the people saw who purchased the horse, they immediately wanted to buy the horse back. After the auction, they basically, what, type of money is it going to take to get this horse back it seemed really weird because it just looked like a really old skinny horse to us and after we left the auction we decided that we would go back and get the horse because it just seemed so strange why they were so intent on trying to get this horse and they didn't you know whoever owned the horse before we didn't want stuff getting out so um, when we got the horse off of the auction property I lifted up its lip and found a tattoo and I was able to do some research and um, he's he's just four years old and he's just a thrown away racehorse. He won races. Um, it looks like he's won uh, $43,000 in his short racing career and then he ended up like this. If you make $43,000 in a year you'd think you should get hang out for a while, right? Right here. Yeah. It was all done. What are we working with, Doc? Well, we're trying to get the age on him. He's a little bit around 20, maybe. Right, right, right on 20. His knees are both. If you come over here, you can see the really amount of arthritis in his are. knees. He's got arthritis in both of them, the right. Yeah, which right would be very 20. painful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's fussy. Doc is giving this one all of his vaccines and everything. Ivermectin does, supposedly. Ivermectin. 
arthritis or something in my pasterns and a knee that goes backwards when you walk. Like, oh yeah, cool. Back. Let's see what, let's watch that. It, it warps the other, the wrong way. My hands are frozen. Here, These hand warmers come oh, here. Let me trade they're you. They're awesome. I think mine's more warmer. That's what we do I had a lot of them. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought you just. I just got them out. I just thought you just. And I had them. some from this morning that are still. Huh. Well, thank you to everyone that goes on our Amazon wish, wish list and thinks about us humans and buys us hand warmers because it makes our job easier. We can actually move our fingers. Even the camera person has her own. Fourteen two. Yeah. Ancient. 47 and a half. So when a horse's tail starts getting this kind of wave, fuzzy wave look to it, when he walked away, I could see that, oh, he probably has melanoma cancer. And when he came back, um, you can see here, there's a tumor right here and I can run my hand along it. He also has tumors up, up in there. So we're gonna give him love and uh, do the right thing for him, which his owner should have done. When you have a horse that old that has cancer, taking it to an auction where it's going to get sold into the slaughter pipeline is not the responsible thing to do. This is the one that's blind in his left eye. Yeah, I'm 25 year old teeth. 825, is it? 825? That's just all a scarred up cornea. Vascular? Yeah. We got a, I think we got cataracts. We can, we can slightly see the one with the cataract, but we can't see nothing out of this one. Completely blind in the left eye, probably down to a 30% in the right eye. Jesse, Jesse's stuck. There we go. Full suction in here. Can we pull that one out and get a height on it? Okay. We're starting to wake up. Might be very late. Yeah. So we went to sleep in town for a little bit. Yeah. Got some beautiful long, long front teeth. Stories of this horse, uh, she appears to be foundered or something going on with that leg uh, hoof and we're going to check it out um, and see exactly what's going on so we can make the proper decision for her. How much of a rotation is that? It's hard since her foot's not... Yeah. Yeah. That block was too high. Well, we'll put her, we'll put a red tag on her and we'll reevaluate her like in two or three weeks or whatever it I is. I like when... that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This horse has been through four auctions. 
Gonna be like he's gonna be looking through clouds for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah. 15, 16. We got that. How about they go? Maybe he got kicked in the head. But this eye is is looking forward. It's stuck looking forward. So. Yeah. Really bad. It's not great. It's not great. 16. Like, hello. So 1,000. Um, it feels like he's got a strangles abscess about ready to blow. So I'll be sure and handle it. Um, right there. Yep. Yeah. So. What all do you want for him? Is it open? It's not open yet. It's not. And you're gonna put him in. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just treat you for everything. What's his auction number? Eight on age, Sarah. <laughs> the left hip is dropped. Like it's broken. If you look directly behind it, um, the right side, left side of its hip is dropped quite a bit, and that's usually an old broken leg. This ain't right, right? Yeah, here. no, it's messed up. So basically, there's nothing we can do for that. Well, there's nothing to do, but the muscles attached there, but it's not that important a bone for them walking either. Mm -hmm. She's not well adjusted of being blind. Like she bunks into everything. Oh, she does. She looks young. She's, How old is she? I hadn't looked at you on the. Is she uh, easy? Well, oh, baby. She's well, not happy well, being honey. blind. Oh, uh, we need you to go blind, baby. She's crashing into everything at the auction. The lens is going yellow yeah. on that. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. It has been a long, exhausting day. Um, my day didn't end, this, well, yesterday didn't end until like 2.30 a.m. for me. And then we were up again after a few hours getting all these horses um, in the process of back to our shelter and their intake done. And it's been a rough day. We had to make a lot of hard decisions, but you know, the owners of these horses that chose to take them to the auction instead of being responsible for them and making these decisions you know that's really where it comes down to that horse owners need to be more responsible um, because there's so many horses that get thrown away into the slaughter pipeline just because their owners were completely just uncaring about their horse's future you know some of these horses were you know 30 plus years old had cancer dumped at an auction if you love your horse don't discard it at an auction into the slaughter pipeline be responsible, make the right decision. The last act of kindness is the right decision when it's an old horse and it's suffering. The slaughter pipeline is the wrong decision. And that's where we step in and have to make these hard decisions.